Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So this morning I am going to be using the Profusion Metal Palette. Um, for work this morning I'm going to do something a simple glam as usual. I'm going to try to dig into the Euphoria sometime this week. Uh, depending on what shades I wear to work. Meaning clothing. But this morning I definitely want to dive into the Metals Palette. And it's this beautiful um, mauve greenish, a pop of blue, um, and this bronzy shimmer shade here. And this is what the palette looks like. Um, and they just came out at Walmart. Well, I saw them at Walmart a couple of days ago when I went to my local Walmart. But this is what the palette looks like. So let's get started and see what we can come up with. I've already primed my eyes with my um, Plan and Makeup by Yolanda and the shade Foundation. So let's see what we can come up with this morning. Again, like I said, it's going to be something really on the lighter side so I can hurry up and get out of the door to go to work. Um, so we're going to go in with the shade Forbidden, which is this third shade. Let's, let's do a little bit different this morning. Let's go in with Canopy, which is this nice... Um, colorblind this morning this shade how about that and we're going to place that shade all in my area above my crease and we're going to just pack it and I'm actually still on a hunt for a good shade to go in this area we're gonna just lightly blend it and I did not set my base it's still on the tacky side I'm gonna apply a little more and I'm just building it up since I'm gonna use that deep uh, maroon shade this morning and I also received my Mimi's, Mimi's Girl collection um, Saturday evening like late Saturday evening FedEx dropped it off so I'm trying to decide I'm going to share with you all what I received and try to do a video like real soon testing the products but I am going to share with you all what I received uh, from the collection when I bought it and I'm just blending it out and we have a nice blended um, shade right above my crease area. And this shade is blending pretty good. It's blending up really, really good. So, I'm just going to make sure it's packed to the intensity that I like. I feel like I need just a little bit more. So now, and I'm actually using this um, 535 by Morphe. I did not tell you guys, and I do apologize in advance. So now I'm going to go in with the um, Morphe 518, and it's just rounded, fluffy brush. And we're going to go in with the shade 
forbidden the shade right next to it this deep um, mauve shade we're going to apply that right in the crease area oh that's pretty and i'm just doing circular motions starting on the outer crease and working my way in that is beautiful This is a nice palette. I like these shades. And I'm just blending in circular motions in my crease area. And just packing a good bit on my brush. This is a nice, nice formula. These two um, palettes that I've used. palettes, I'm sorry, shades. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm going to pack it the same shade on the other eye, starting with the outer V and going up into the crease area and blending in circular motions. And don't worry about it being too perfect because you're going to still go back in and blend some more. Now I'm blending directly in my crease towards the inner corner and making sure that I blend all the way in my crease. And it's not taking a whole lot of shadow. This shade is just so pigmented in this palette. And I do have a video on the pastel palette, if you haven't um, reviewed it already on my channel. Um, I do have an eyeshadow look using that palette as well, if you're interested in it or if you picked it up from your local Walmart. I like that. That's really pretty. I took a little bit more and just kind of make sure the pigment is there and it's blended out seamless. This might not go to my look. These are some nice, when I say nice, nice shades. They are blending like really, really good. Like really good. Okay, I'm just blending in circular motions, and I haven't have not added any more product on this brush. That's coming together so beautiful. I'm just blending again. And the key is to blend, blend, and blend. Especially when you want shadows to look like they're just like so seamless and airbrushed. Make sure you blend your fingers off. Especially those, it's pretty much blending those edges. Is what I'm going to, um. What I'm trying to say blend those edges so you can have this seamless eyeshadow um, placed on your eyes it's like really really airbrush type we don't have this harshness so that's what I'm doing now is just blending I like the way that is performing. So now we're going to go back in with Canopy and put it back into our um, right below our brow bone area to make sure that the shade Forbidden um, is blended seamlessly into this shade without taking that shade away and putting, putting the shade back into it.
blending I like that so far so now we're gonna deepen up this outer V just a little bit we're gonna to try to deepen it with the shade willow and it's this deep deepest uh, mauve shade in here we're gonna take this same Morphe 518 fluff brush And apply right in the outer V. This is a nice palette. I'm telling you, I, I may go and vacuum um like I need any more shadows. Pick up a backup of this little baby. This is a good palette. And again, you know, I'll say it over and over. Make sure you have a good base when you're applying these shadows. That is the key as well for your shadows to look um, really, really pretty and, and possibly uh, perform good. Because, you know, in my opinion, it's not about the dollar amount that you spend bend on a product but actually how you use the product now all um, inexpensive products are not the bomb but I'm a firm believer of trying to see how I can get it to work before I say it's not a good product if that makes sense I use different primers different concealers different bases a whole lot of different stuff to um, See if I can get this work before I just say it's a complete uh, no for me. And I'm just building, continuously building Willow. I just love this shade. It's like the like the perfect deep mauve shade. And it's looking good in my outer V. And I was trying to film yesterday when my grandbaby was here and she just was not having that. <laughs> so but I do want to do a live with her in it I do want to do that because she is such a sweetheart I am loving this look and I'm just dragging the rest of it in my inner crease and blending and that's just deepening up the depth just a little bit but not too 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 much and we're going to blend these inner edges this is like so freaking pretty I'm loving it I'm loving it so now we're going to go in with Should I do this shimmer shade or should I keep it an all matte look? Because I'm wearing brown. Um, I'm not going to go outside this palette this morning. Because I really do want to use a pigment. Because I love pigments too. And I have not been using my pigments the last couple of times that I've applied my makeup. But I do want to dive into a... Pigment. You know, I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to keep it strictly this palette because that would not be fair. Uh, so we're going to apply some glitter glue. Then we're going to apply this gold, beautiful gold shade and see how it works. So I'm going to apply my base booster. I kind of like feeling this look the way it is now. I'm not going to lie. It's really pretty. But we're going to go all out with it. And... Place it on my lid in the inner corner to the center, placing it. And I'm just lightly dabbing this glitter glue. These matte shadows perform like a dream to me. Like I said, I'm a fan of perfusion, anyways. And 
I think some of their shadows perform really good. They've gotten better over the years. Okay, so now I have that placed. So now we're going to go in with this shade. Ah, let's see. I'm going to apply it on my ring finger. It's a bit chunky. And it's a gold. Piece of something. Was on it's a gold. We're just going to apply it and see what it does on my lid. It's actually really pretty. And it's applying better than I thought. Because it was more on a dry, chunky type side. With the texture. But it's really applying beautifully. And I'm just applying it really, really lightly. I'm not going in with a heavy hand. And I'm going all the way over my lid. Because we're going to go back in and blend the shade Willow back in that outer V. I just don't, don't want that harsh cut off um, shimmer. And I know this is so random, but I have to bring back out my Temptalia palettes. Those are some beautiful palettes with some beautiful shades. And I haven't used them enough. And I'm only thinking of it because of those beautiful shimmers in there. I know it was so random. I'm going to take a little bit more. This is actually not a bad formula of shimmer in this palette. And let me know if you guys are a fan of these pressed glitters in these eyeshadow palettes here lately. Because I was trying to do a look a while back. I wasn't even filming. I was just playing in shadows. And... That pressed glitter gave me like a hard time. Maybe I'm applying it wrong. And if you have any suggestions, if you're watching this video and you are at this section of the video, give me some pointers on on what what to how to apply rather these glitter shades because I seem to can't get it right for the life of me. Something's in my eye. I just can't seem to get it right for the life of me. So, um, I want to just make sure it's not me or, you know, my technique where I can't get it. That is so stunning and pretty. Just apply a little bit more because we're going to go back in and put that shade willow back in it out of the because I don't want it to like be gone and disappear so that's what we're gonna do now if I'm out of frame I do apologize this is like so pretty so first I'm gonna take this 535 and blend and I'm not putting any more shadows on this brush just making sure the um, crease area is blended pretty good. And that my transition shade is still there. Okay, now back with this 518 by Morphe. We're going to go back in with Willow again. And we're going to apply it back on this outer V. And deepen it back up because I like that deepness with this shade. I'm all out of the frame, I'm sorry. And back over into the crease area. And lightly blend these edges. If this is not a beautiful shade and look. I like it. Doing the same thing for this eye. It is super duper pretty. 
I like it. That will do it for the eye look. So we're going to take this makeup wipe. As usual, I have my micellar water on here, my simple. And we're going to clean up under the eye. This is my favorite part because it shows you how the look comes out. From the nose and all of that good stuff. Take all this excess concealer off, and I know I be looking like super crazy when I come on here, <laughs> but that's just the way I like to do it. So I'll take this brush one last time and make sure it's blended really well. Before we go off camera and do the rest of our face, and I'm just blending again this um, outer V into my crease. Because when I go off camera, I don't like, well, I don't, I'm not gonna sound like, I don't apply any more shadows that I have not done on camera. Because, you know, I said in, a, in maybe one or two of my other videos, when I'm following a tutorial, I don't like to miss a step or I want to see everything the, the person has done because my look may not come out exactly like theirs and it's maybe because some additional stuff was done off camera. I'm not 100% sure but I don't like to, to do that. I want people to see everything I'm doing whether it's speed it up or slow down. Right now I'm not an expert at editing so we're going to work it like this and even if I learn how to edit. I still will not cut it out even if it speed up just a little bit, but you'll still be able to see what I'm doing. So, let's zoom you guys in so you can see the final look. This is so pretty. I love the way these shadows performed. They were so soft and blended like a dream. This is a nice palette. I like it. So, I'm going to zoom you guys back out. Now, I'm going to go off camera through the rest of my face, my liner. I'm definitely going to try to apply some lashes today. I want a more dramatic lash, but we'll see once I start digging into the rest of my face. And I'll be back to show you guys my final look. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back. And this is my final look. And I am loving the way everything came together. It's kind of like still showing my contoured out bronze area this is beautiful if you have not tried perfusion and you want to try perfusion and if you want to try the latest um palette this is an awesome palette i definitely will recommend this metal palette it's just like so stunning and beautiful i had no issues with the formula in the shades that i used i haven't tried the blues yet but i'm definitely going to try the blue and green this gave me no issues at all and i highly highly recommend uh if you have not tried perfusion to try them so i did not apply any more eyeshadows to my lid as the, you know the usual and the norm but i did go in with willow in my lower lash line and i topped it with foliage the same shimmer shade that I applied on top of my lids and for my lips I went in with my MAC um, lip pencil in the shade Nightingale which is one of my fave when you're talking about a mauve type look and then I went in with my Madison Beer in the shade Saturn which is this one and I topped it again with this I've been loving this little Glimmer Lip Gloss. I think I got it from like an H&M, I believe, a, uh, maybe a year or so ago. One of these little um, clothing stores. It's like super, super thick. I cannot wear it by itself, but it is beautiful on top of a shimmer gloss. It's like really, really thick. I don't know if you can see it, but it. I have like two of them, but I didn't use them because they were so thick. I didn't know how to use them. They didn't feel right on my lips, rather, but when you top them on top of a lip gloss, I'm about to jump into the camera. But this is what the look came out to be. I love it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this look because I am really feeling it today. My hair is all cute. I learned how to finally diffuse and embrace my curls. And I'm actually going to do a video shortly on how I just learned this in like the last couple of days. And it is beautiful. It goes well with my look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have not done so already, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And become a part of my YouTube family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.